The UK Afro and Caribbean event industry has been through some difficult times. Some businesses have closed and some have pivoted during these tough times. There are some businesses who also have been able to learn and flourish during these challenging times. In this episode, I will be meeting with some of our members, our elite vendor network members, to hear their story of how they've been doing during the last year. I hope by hearing from our members, this will help you, empower you, educate you and reassure you of how the vet industry will soon be coming back in full strength. Chantel, thank you for joining me here today. Thank you for having me. So, can you tell me in a few sentences, what does your business do? Aspirations Events is a general group now, company, um, that covers a number of multitudes nice. across the industry. We do um, balloons yeah. from events, um, setups, surprise balloon, mm, setups surprise. with surprise balloon where you get a box, you open it up, the balloons float up, really popular at the moment. We have a cinema hire service. And we also are entering the wedding side of our industry as well. Nice, nice. So you do cinema, right? Mm-hmm. I think I need one for my birthday. Not a problem 5th at all. December. <laughs> That's fine. Not yes. a problem at all. Excellent, excellent. <laughs> so how much would you say COVID actually impacted um, your business? Pros and cons. Yeah. Pros and cons. Um, at the beginning of last year, I had the desire, I've been making the correct contacts, yeah. that I felt I'd be able to enter the wedding side of the yeah. industry. And then COVID lockdown happened. Mm. And of course, you know, the wedding industry yeah. is one of the biggest industries parts that have been affected. So put everything on hold. Mm. Um, so I wasn't able to enter in that side of things, but I just adjusted the business of it that's where the at home cinema okay, came in nice. was able to provide that because i know my family and friends missed that and focused on my ballooning talents okay. um, to offer people different ways to show their appreciation love missing for friends that they couldn't physically be with mm. your service sounds very personable that's what we aim to be um, it's all about appreciation um, that was one of the things that encouraged me to start it in the yeah. first place. I felt that the world was a bit too negative yeah. and I just wanted to do something to help people offer that way of yeah. showing people how you care um, in a personable way, really, mm. yeah. I get that from you now, I, 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 I get it. The personable sense, the warm nature, Thank it you. shines through your business. Thank you very shine much. Through. So, so you, you, you were saying that you kind of pivoted yes. um, during COVID. Um, so what other ways did you try and pivot within um, that period or could it kind of like now to be fair? When before lockdown, I was just aspirations events. Yeah. Um, my main service was to do surprise setups, yes. come into your house, yeah. set up any area yeah. or hotel room mm. or any location you want to give that person a surprise of whatever reason, yeah. proposals, birthdays, whatever it was. Of course, lockdown stopped that. You weren't yeah. allowed to go and yeah. visit anybody. But that's when I started to focus, like I said, on the balloon inside. Mm. And that is when Aspirations at Home Cinema yeah. Service was also okay. born. So, so you done the balloon, so did you deliver them yourself? How did that, like, wh how? How did you, what were the operations like for that? Again, um, lockdown offered a huge opportunity yeah. for us. We started to get into national delivery. So mm. we used couriers. Okay. Um, I was able to obtain boxes that most of my designs could fit into. Nice, nice. And the courier would come to my doorstep, yeah. pick them up yeah. and deliver them to my clients. Mm. So it sounds like mm. lockdown has helped you to, to reflect and almost refine how you do things definitely and actually saved you money definitely because i didn't have to drive and deliver yeah. um of course it's not the same income that you get from the full scale events yeah. that you might do but the what can i say the the amount of inquiries yeah kind of added up to that so it was great so it was really great so were the inquiries so there were a lot of inquiries was it more than before um for balloons yes because yes. i wasn't i 
sadly, I never wanted to be known as the balloon lady, okay. to be honest, because I just wanted to do events, yeah, really, yes. um, not just balloons. Mm. But that's kind of what saved aspirations. Mm. And I was able to bring people happiness and joy in a mm. time that I think could possibly be the worst for mm. a lot of us in our society. Mm. So it was great. Mm. So what do you think the, the wedding industry or the events industry, should I say, looks like um, at the back end of this year and the start of next year? I've received my first couple of wedding quote requests. Yes. So nice. I feel like, I know it's exciting. Very exciting. <laughs> so I feel like people are starting to have confidence in the situation yeah. again. I feel like everybody still wants to celebrate and have all these amazing events. And yeah, I think that we will, we will, it will be okay. Do you think it will be even better than last year? Oh, 100% better yeah. than last year. 100%, 100% because you're going to be able to express all the things that you haven't, you've been holding yeah. back, you know. So many people have put their weddings yeah. on hold and again yeah. Yeah. and again. Yeah. <laughs> so when they finally get to do it, I think they're going to go all out, mm. me personally. Yeah. So how many weddings do you think normally take place? And I'm going to give you three options. Oh, yeah. You've got 200,000, mm -hmm. 150,000, mm -hmm. or 279,000? I would prefer to go to 79, to yeah. be honest. So 279 weddings yeah. take place every single year. Mm. Now, over the next two years, there's going to be over 800,000 weddings. So you're in a perfect place with all of the different services that you actually offer, mm -hmm. you know, in terms of cinema, in terms of for weddings, and in terms of private functions as well, for the small ones and the big ones. That's so you just cover made me lot. feel great. You cover, you cover a lot. <laughs> Thank you. you know? That's actually just put my mind in a completely different place. <laughs> Thank you very much. Right. Yeah. So what, what is one of the things that you're looking forward to, I guess, after June? I, I say June slash July, but yeah, definitely. what are you mostly looking forward to? I think it is full-scale events again. Yeah. That is the main thing, being yeah. able to be on site fully. Yeah. Um, I done, I've done a few garden yeah. setups in the last couple of weeks, mm. but being able to really take advantage of a venue, yeah. um, to turn that venue around, mm. to add all the extra bits, yeah. I'm really looking forward to that. So you say garden. There was mm. one garden event you was talking to me about. Yes. And um, yeah, I want, I want people to know about it, if that's all right. No problem at all. It's next weekend. Yes. <laughs> it's next weekend and we are hiring a marquee. Yeah. Um, I'm liaising with some of the vendors yeah. from the network yeah. to provide furniture, linen yeah. and everything. Yeah. Caterers, yeah. everything like that. The full works, yes. the full works. Um, of course, it's a micro yeah. because we have to stay within COVID guidelines. Yes. But it's a very yeah. exciting time because I haven't actually had the chance to do that in a very long time. Mm. So it's exciting, definitely. And there was one more. There was one more where you got the inquiry overseas. From Australia. That one, yes. From the Because of COVID, yes. she couldn't be here for her mum's yeah. birthday. Um, so she basically searched social media, yeah. the internet whatsoever, and came across me and requested nice. that I... Um, into their garden they have a what are they called a cabin yes. in the back of their yeah. garden um and the mum was out at work yeah. so they gave me special permission yeah. to be able to go through their garden and do that and i decorated a surprise set up for her for her 60th birthday the person was in australia so yes. how did you get into the property they left the key they left the key they told me where they left their spare key you see that's that <laughs> kind of warm nature very very you know? she, she was very trusting she didn't think twice we just had a really nice conversation and she said i'd really like to see if yeah. you can help me and she just went forward but see? it was it was I, it felt definitely like yeah. a privilege because yes. in this day and age that's very very mm. rare mm. <laughs> but she just told me where they left the yeah. spare key and asked me to put it back when i finish you see trusting company very trusting person most definitely you know, um, Thank you very much for today. Thank you for having me. No problem.